I'm taking you home. Okay. I think. Can you move? Yeah, help me. I flipped, I flipped my car in Africa. I thought I was dead. Oh, that's not good. What? <laughs> Everybody's laughing. <laughs> I flipped my car, I almost died. What? <laughs> I did. I, some have heard this story, but when I shot Flight of the Phoenix um, in 2003, I was on the way to set, and we were filming in the sand dunes of Namibia, and I took a corner too fast in a, in, on the sand in this car that was probably built in the 80s. And anyways... I sort of let the, um, like it wasn't like a four-wheel drive, like, oh, here's a truck to drive through. It was like, here's a little Ford, African Ford Focus. Um, <laughs> nothing wrong with Ford. <laughs> if some of you are Ford people. Uh, anyways, it turned and um, it, I rolled. And when I rolled, I, I had my flip-flops on, which is probably a mistake. <laughs> and so you kind of brace and, I, and the car did a loop-de-loop -loop and hit soft sand and hard sand and a berm and I did a complete roll. And I get there, and I'm like, and I'm fine. And I'm like, I've seen a lot of movies. I'm like, the car's gonna explode. I have to get out of here. <laughs> <clears throat> and so, I... <laughs> <laughs> I did full on, like, full slow seven steps, dive. Dive, land and in the sand. And then nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, and, and nothing happened. And, I, and so I'm now, you know, 60 feet away, hiding behind a tree, so that... <laughs> so the exploding... Any time now. <laughs> so the exploding shrapnel didn't hit me. And we were filming, it was supposed to look like a plane crash in the middle of nowhere. So we were filming in the middle of nowhere in the dunes. We were not near anything, no city lights, no, uh, no traffic, like, there were no other cars traveling around this, private property, I guess. And the car didn't explode. And I was like, okay. Okay, I should probably get my cell phone. And they had a production phone they give to all the actors. And I was like, I should let them know that I'm going to be late today. Um, <clears throat> so I go back to the car. Oh. <laughs> no, I go back to the car. And I'm by the way, the only, the, only, the only injury I could tell that I had was I had a, t a cut on the top of my foot. From where I had braced, it had hit the bottom of the accelerator pedal. And so my foot's bleeding a little bit, but I'm like, I just flipped a car and I'm fine. So I go to the car and I'm like, I'm going to let production know that I am going to be late because I rolled a car. And I can't find the phone. And I'm like, wait a second. And I kind of look around. I take a moment. I'm like, I can't hear. There's, there's, there are no sounds. There are no birds. I'm like, I can't find my phone. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't need a phone because I'm dead. So the planet took my phone away, my earthly phone, because I don't need it. Of course there are no birds. And so I'm like, that's why the car didn't explode. I'm already dead. Uh, we still got the cold. We still have the one bullet left. We just have to start over, all right? I mean, we already found the demon one. Thank you.
so I just sort of like, I sit on the, on the sand next to the car, kind of bummed, right? <laughs> and what was the book where the girl sees herself and she's dead and she's able to, she's able to look? Yes, so that's me. I'm like, okay, maybe I got flung from the car. So I look around a little bit, looking for my <laughs> earthly dead body. Because I'm now spirit Jared, you know? I probably tried flying to see if I could do that yet. That happens longer after you die. You can't fly immediately. It takes a couple months, I think. And so, no flying, man. I guess I, in hindsight, I wasn't dead, so maybe you can fly immediately. Just saying. And so I'm walking around, like, I don't have a phone. I wonder, like, I'm looking to see where my body went. And then here comes this car, and I'm like, oh, must be nice to be a human alive driving a car. <laughs> and it's my producer, Wick Godfrey's assistant. Uh, and he pulls over, I think his name is Eric. And he pulls over, and he's like, hey, man, you all right? You can see me? <laughs> yeah. You all right? Are you dead, too? <clears throat> he wasn't dead either, as a matter of fact. Long story short, uh... And then, and then we flew away. Uh, yeah, long story short, he was not dead. I was not dead. Uh, my car was uh, a write-off because my car was dead. It landed on a big rock. Because um, when I saw the car, I was like, that doesn't look too bad. This might not be too expensive. Did you see the car flying away? <laughs> I did. So there is a car heaven. Yeah. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do now, Dean? <laughs> I think I'll go for a drive. Have fun. My name is Emily. I'm a huge fan. Um, I had a question about what was your favorite props, Jensen, Misha, and Jared, like throughout the show. And yeah, I really love you guys. <laughs> love you back. Favorite, Thank favorite you. props from throughout, from throughout favorite the show. Favorite prop. Um, baby. baby is not a prop. No. No, baby is a part of me. Yeah, uh, all cars go to heaven. Uh, yeah, but I didn't die. So that's the moral of the story. I didn't right. die. Th thank you. He's doing okay, and he's, you know, he's, he's moving around, and, uh, but yeah, really, really bad car accident, so uh, just keep him in your thoughts, send him some love, get a chance on, uh, on social, and, uh, and he'll be back with us soon. So, there you go. 
well, I think we we I think we caught a glimpse of what Dean does in heaven. I think he he drives around a baby and and he pops tops on the on the front porch of Harvell's and he probably goes over to to mom and dad's and and gets some lasagna and then he, he goes drive and you know he's I think he's just trying to live his best life. I think at a certain point he's uh, he's gonna miss the life and he's probably gonna probably get with Sam and uh, uh, tell Jack, hey. Put us in, coach, and that's that's the Netflix uh, or the Amazon or the Apple or the uh, uh, whatever streaming uh, Hulu type of subscription you uh, subscribe to. That's the reboot. Or maybe we just like grab a few GoPros and get in the Impalas and roll camera, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then just sell it to everybody. Hey, I know a production company that would actually do that. Can we call them? Do you know their number? I, I have their number. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Since since it was determined that the show was going to end at 327 episodes, um, I'd like to think of this as a see you later, not as a goodbye. Um, so. No doubt, endings are hard. But then again. Nothing ever really ends, does it? And we won't be gone long, I promise. It came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him. He's like, man, crazy been back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like. <laughs> Let's talk, man. Like, I <laughs> to all the SBN family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you, and we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.